Hello, my name's Tim Aiken and I'm going to give a brief overview of how we see how the Kobe spreadsheet has been formatted. Just as a recap, Kobe is a format that's being used for the transfer of building information modeling from one from different systems. Now our in terms of building information modeling does not necessarily mean that it's 3D. A lot of the information comes in project information as spreadsheets of electrical equipment, furniture, building services, uh, without necessarily um, giving in those spreadsheets the, the coordinate positions. Locations, yes. The locations may be referenced by floor and by room. So, where do we start if we're looking at trying to write to the Kobe spreadsheet and read from the Kobe spreadsheet if we're not using a system that a CAD system that has already been configured to 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 do that and if it's in a CAD system then everything has to be there Kobe doesn't say you have to use a CAD system to be able to read and write what it says is that what it's been done they've done with to with it is to try and make it so that you can actually add and read from it um, either manually or using other systems so it's contributed to from a whole different series of systems in active plan we have schedules we also have a locational information inside the, the actual space uh, building modeling uh, application itself which is used for uh, space planning I'm going to be looking at just a few of the tabs in, in Kobe I just go through to show you what the keys of the different colors of columns mean is that where it's yellow that means really you've got to have those fields filled in an orange um, field indicates how that record relates to another sheet the purple relates as to how as to as a reference not only to what was the other system what was the system that actually generated it but also what's the unique idea object that allows you to make sure that you've got a connection between the Kobe spreadsheet and the other system green means that it's optional uh, as a um, but if you've actually got it in your model then you do need to actually say that you, you need it and the grey is just for anything that's uh, extra. So if we have a schedule of, say, furniture, where do we start? The tab for that, we believe, is called type. And inside type, we have some names and descriptions. And we can say, oh, there's where the manufacturer uh, name is going to go. Uh, model number, warranty guarantees, etc. So we've got something that tells us that this could be used for, say, our list of uh, furniture items. We can also identify what sort of item that is by saying it's fixed and movable, um, etc. And there are the purple columns that tell us which system it actually came from. And we've got other information that may be from the manuf which would be from the manufacturer about a warranty um, description. We've got some uh, size information and we've also got some reference information to a um, some sort of uh, model um, some shape definitions that could be put in uh, some grades and materials some of these if they're not there in the spreadsheet doesn't mean that you can't put them in at all because they actually have included a, another sheet called uh, attribute which allows us then to say add this extra attribute information to that type to the uh, to the record in the sheet type and it's called this and this is its uh, um, value etc so there is a way of actually making sure that you can extend the range of, 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 of variables or, or assignments or attributes that are, that are on these so don't worry about getting uh, uh, being restricted it is very flexible we then look at uh, how would we then say we had a schedule and we've got a series of fans and we've got a location for those fans because obviously in the type uh, table it doesn't tell us where those fans are so 
let's look at a tab called component and in component we have the ability to say that individual component instance is in that space that's where it's come from it's got a unique serial number or in this case it's got a unique tag number um, and there's some extra information there now say we actually had a coordinate position for that well let's go and have a look and see and here we have a coordinate tab so again we can relate back and we should be able to say here we've got a sheet called component so I've got a record in here it's called component and I've actually got a three-dimensional position for it I've also got a position in, in terms of the let's go through these clockwise rotation is how is it orientated on the on the floor from the XY axes the elevational rotation is how is it dipped up or down and finally we have the your or, uh, rotation which is basically are you banked to the left or you banked to the right so you can actually rotate it around like on, on a gimbal and these are usually expressed in CAD systems as radians and I believe in the Kobe spreadsheet they expect you to put in degrees because I think it's unreasonable for people to actually know what the equivalent radians are uh, just for a spreadsheet if you're doing this by hand I think radians would just be uh, unusual and finally all those extra bits of piece of, of information so here we've got let's see if we can look at a sheet name just filter it by component well let's filter it by type now let's start with type remember types is where we got our manufacturer references and things like that so this relates back to type and somehow in here we should be able to reference there's a toilet type the name of the attribute and that is pointing to the row name so the row name back in type in so if we just go back to type we can see that so we go back to type here and if we looked for that WC pan I think it was wasn't it yeah Unsele unselect all those let's go and select that let's go back to attribute toilet pan type row name there so let's look and unselect all those and say let's just show me those so here we've got 15 records relating to that toilet pan some of them are actually Oh, we've got a document reference. We've got two document references, so you can hold multiple references in here. So that then relates back to the sheet called type, and so type has got fifteen attributes there, and that's how it seemed to be all structured together. Thank you for listening.